Welcome back to the One Chart at a Time video series. I'm your host, John Schwabish. And today we're going to talk about the candlestick chart. Uh, it has lots of different names, but it's basically kind of like a box and whisker chart, but it tends to be used to show changes in stock prices or market prices. So you're going to see in today's episode of the series how to create and use and read this interesting sort of chart that really has a specific domain for it. And to help us understand how to use and read the candlestick chart, we have Severino Rebecca, one of my good design friends who has helped me on our various graphic continuum projects, which is essentially a library of different graphic types. So Sev, over to you. Hey John, thanks for having me. Today I will be covering candlestick charts. So what are candlestick charts exactly? So a candlestick chart is a chart that uses a series of candlestick-like symbols at each point in time to display multiple bits of price information. The main rectangle in the symbol is known as the real body, which can be used to display the range between the open and the closed price. When the closing price is higher than when it's opened, then the body is typically colored white or green, but when the closing price is lower than when it's opened, then the body is typically colored either black or red. When the lines extending from the bottom and the top of the real body are known as the upper shadows or wicks, and each wick represents the kind of highest and lowest uh, price traded in that point in time. So what are candlestick charts actually used for? And this type of chart is used as a financial tool to analyze the price movements over time for securities, derivatives, currency exchange, stocks, bonds, commodities, and so on. And a candlestick chart is great for predicting the market trends uh, over time and are for useful for interpreting the day-to-day -day sentiment of the market. So a candlestick chart can help uh, reveal the market psychology, so the fear and greed experienced by both buyers and sellers. And this can be seen through various indicators such as the length, uh, the colouring and various candlestick-like symbols. Uh, for example, the longer the body is, the more intense the uh, buying and selling pressure is while a very short body would indicate that there is very little price movement in that time period. There are also many identifiable patterns that can be found in candlestick charts with names such as long-legged doji, hanging man, shaving head, engulfing bullish to name a few. But in total there are 42 and candlestick patterns are useful for displaying the price relationships and can be used for predicting the possible future movement of the market. Now I'll show you an example of one in a moment. Here I have a nice live example of an interactive candlestick chart from Steve Nyson's website candlecharts.com and he's the guy who first introduced this chart type to the West. And this particular candlestick chart example I have is visualizing the price data for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And you can see we have candlestick symbols for each day. So each of these symbols represent a day. And if I zoom in, I can get a closer look at the symbols. And if I zoom out, you can see I can see further back in time. At the bottom here we have our time scale and at the right here we have our price index scale. And then I can, if I click and drag I can also go back in time and you can see how, how the market has changed over time. And then when you see when it's gone down, when the price is closed, it's uh, at a lower price, the symbols are coloured red and when it's close at a higher price, the symbols are colored green. So this is how your typical example of a candlestick chart will look like. So there you go, that is candlestick charts. I hope that was interesting and useful to you. 
And thank you for having me, John. Goodbye. And thanks to Sav for that great review of the candlestick chart. Again, it's sort of a specific chart type for a specific field, but it resembles a lot of the charts that we've already been talking about. Bar charts, box and whisker plots, lots of different chart types sort of combined together into this single chart. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll be able to use it and certainly you're now able to read it.